Hey there everybody, it's Ira, it's me, I'm back, I've got another, yet another new indie game, yet another indie game dev has written me up and said, please, please, please do a video on my game, I think your viewers will like it, and I said, well shucks, I can't see any reason why not, so this one is Age of Grit, it is being released into early access today, uh, the 10th of September, so keep that in mind, early access game, not completely finished, uh, so we're gonna keep that in mind as we look through the game, um, Apparently it's sort of a steampunk western is what I gather. This is uh, clearly this is a first look I have not played the game yet um, I have been looking at the title screen for a moment, and I was like why are there no options no options at all There are options. It's hidden up here. It's very cool looking, but it is actually kind of difficult to see So what have we got settings audio? Quite difficult font to read. I'm not I'm not gonna lie difficult font to read, but I can make it out sound effects and background music So we got separate uh, sound and all, uh, music volume always good mute all Exit to desktop. Okay, so that's all we've got. We don't have any other any other settings, uh, including video settings. I, it, I was prompted to choose a resolution when I launched the game, but it doesn't look like you can change the resolution once the game is open. Good to know. Uh, again, early access. Maybe more options will be added in the future. It looks like we have some instructions up here. Bug reporting tool, exit to main menu, check inventory quest menu. Okay, we've got some text up here. I'm not going to read all the text right now. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to play. Uh, let's start a new game. I'm very curious. This looks like a really cool thing. Um, so we'll see. The name's Jebediah Rockwell. Got me a fine ship and she got herself a fine crew. We're a transport ship. Fly jobs any place we find them. We're up in guild territory. Colder than cold here. But there's good work to be had around these parts. Gotta watch out for bandits, though. The guild skies are home to all manner of outlaw scum. Thems tend to prey on the smaller transport ships such as ours. I reckon it's now about time I retire from this life. Maybe go south where it's warm, down in the Topaz Islands. I hear tell with enough money you can get your own own little island. I suppose if I keep my head down, I can save up some good money and leave all this behind in short order. Okay, well Jebediah, I wish you luck with your retirement. Are you gonna give me a ship or something? Maybe. Okay, looks like there's not a tutorial. <laughs> so, um, okay, click and drag to move the map around. It, it looks very cool. Can we just pause for a moment before we try to figure out how to play this game? Which may or may not be doable, we'll see. Um, very, very cool. We've got some snow effects up here. Some very nice effects. Uh, the, the map is clearly very beautiful. Very beautiful map. Uh, even the UI, it's all very immersive and cool looking. Um, very nice. This font is really difficult to read though. So that's my, my personal my <laughs> settings. I just realized it's a sentence instead of settings. <laughs> Very immersive indeed. Uh, help, jobs, inventory. So where where am I? Is there some indication of where I am? Is that me? Is that me there? Bridge, range, set destination. What's bridge? Oh, oh, what? Oh. I clicked twice. Here we go. Um, is that my crew? Are these people? Oh, look at this. Wesley Whitmore. Clara Bell, Zachary Lim, and Asher Levi or Levy Ward. Okay. Click on these people. They have pictures. Oh, I can talk to them. Howdy. Howdy, Cap. Howdy. I guess that's all they have to say right now. Oh, this is all very cool looking. Sir, ma'am. What if I don't want to be a sir? Do I have, if I have to be a sir, I don't have a choice about being a sir? Hopefully they'll add a choice about being a sir. What are you doing, Cap? Asher. Nod. <laughs> Nod. <laughs> okay, I guess that's our relationship. Go back to the world map. Okay. So I'm gonna be fumbling around trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, if I click help, what are we gonna get for help? Oh my goodness, this is really hard to read. It looks very cool. The font looks very cool, but this is extremely hard in the eyes. Um, I would very strongly suggest uh, maybe keeping the stylized font just for very large things where it's easier to read, and then for normal text maybe find something else, because this is... Oh, this is like trying to read that old script in like old German books. I can't read that either. The overworld, click set destination to choose a new town to travel to. I've got good eyes too, folks, so if somebody's visually impaired, this is going to be impossible to read. When you've selected a destination, press engage to begin your journey. Be wary, you could get waylaid by outlaws or other troublemakers. Okay. 
So I guess we have a bit of a tutorial after all. It's, it's not an immersive tutorial, but we have at least some instructions. The range circle shows the settlements within range of your ship. Okay. To reach more distance destinations... Uh, to reach destinations that are further away, I suppose what they mean. You may need to refuel somewhere along the way. Once you've reached your destination, press enter town to explore the settlement. Okay. Towns. Oh my goodness. This is another one of these games that's going to have a lot of depth, isn't it? I haven't, I haven't prepared myself for this depth yet. Each person of interest has their own marker. Click to see who they are and click again to talk to them, I think I was supposed to say. The town can change over time. Certain people may not always be around and new people may become available. Okay, okay. Click world map to return to the overworld. Battle. Ooh, it's combat. Your main steam gauge. Your ship runs on steam power. All systems require it to function. Okay, well, it was a steampunk style world. By the way, again, just take a moment and appreciate the visuals here. The text may be almost impossible to read, but this is very pretty. Keep an eye on your engine's temperature gauge. If you run your engine too hot, you risk explosion. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I don't want that. Do not, do not want that. Your ship has various systems, weapons, sensors, the engine, etc. Click up or down to add or remove steam points for the upcoming round of battle. You can hold down the up button to increase the max possible ranks. I don't know what that means. Press info to see the system's stats and details. Try to use some variety. Most systems will overheat if you run them. I think it should be if you run them for too many consecutive rounds. Okay, so don't use the same thing too many times in a row. I can, I can remember that much. Oh goodness, this is so hard to read. Your ship has a hit point meter. Your enemy has one too. Your job is to get that one to zero. Got it. End of help manual. Good luck and fly safe. Well, we'll see. So I don't see um, that distance ring thing. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, I guess I have to go here. Can I not go... Like, what if I... It's outside of the range. Okay, so I don't have enough fuel. Is that what that means? A little bit confused on that, but... Engage. Look at this. We can just fly right over. We don't have to have to bother with roads and stuff. Airship encountered. Uh-oh. Am, am I gonna experience my first combat? I think so. Oh, dear. Add... Whoa, okay. Hattie Cadwell. Let's see, we got howdy there. How your rusty old ship fare in Rockwell? Oh, I know this person. Say fine enough, I suppose. I'm gonna be reasonably nice. You got a shipment or what? Watch oh, it. <laughs> well, of course I does. Fresh from the core. Just flew it over the border this morning. No trouble. Nothing we couldn't handle. Yeah, that's right. Like her. Appreciate you taking it the rest of the way to Timberhorn. Timberhorn? That might be a typo. It's only a handful of clicks. Um, I feel like this game is encouraging me to be a jerk, but I, I, I'm, I'm nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, but I'm nice. It's only a handful of clicks. Um, yeah, let's go. There's only so much of this type of text that I can bring myself to read, unironically. So just what is the shipment anyways? This is the one I'm bringing to Timberhorn. I don't even know what I'm transporting. Belt buckles. <laughs> Cheap ones. That's what you smuggled across the border. Thought it was guns or moonshine or some such. Not 100% family friendly this game, but I think that's, that's pretty obvious from the, the theme of it. A big old crate of them. Okay. Always looking to make a quick bit, quick bit or two. Just take him to Sully, Sully Phelps and Timberhorn Lake. Give you half a bit for each. I think there's a gross one. 72 bits. Sounds swell. I'm going to be nice. Dang it, game. I am going to be nice. I don't care what you try to do. Must be off. See you around, Rockwell. Bye. Good. I don't have to fight. I don't have to fight. So this is where I'm going. Timberhorn Lake. So this is the range. Is this my basically my fuel meter? Airship encountered. Uh-oh. 
Is it a friend? Is it another friend? Oh no, it's not a friend! Hands up! <laughs> oh no! Look at all these pictures though! Goodness, the visuals and like I could just stand here and, and just kind of analyze all of the UI elements. Like we've got spinning wheels and stuff, and just all of this is so cool. Okay, let's see if we can figure out combat, shall we? Add steam power to your ship systems, then press engage to start. So, oh goodness, oh goodness, this is complicated. Ah, uh, so that's me, yeah. That's them, yeah. Okay, this is a gauge. And this is engine temperature. I know I don't want this to go too high. I remember that much. And I don't want uh, something... Uh, okay. Steam engine, whiskey long gun, wave gherkin wave can, oak bark cannon. How about a whiskey long gun? Oh, I don't have enough steam. I've got, I've got four steam? What's the engine do? Not enough steam. Not enough steam for any of this. Okay. So I guess all I can do is fire up. Oh, okay, we got information! Oh, that is the downside with this type of immersive UI, though, is that it can be hard to see what, what you can actually click on. Um, okay, cheap but reliable rifle, ubiquitous across, across the west, cost six per rank. We've got some numbers that I'm not gonna read. Quick draw additional damage when it's the first system to be used. Okay, well, let's do that then. Engage! Kapow! What happened? 15 damage to them. And I'm fine! Hooray! Alright, so now we'll pick something else. I got 14 steam power. So what's a wave can? Gherkin Co. brand Spectrum Wave Can. Sensor. Gherkin Wave Can is a simple but dependable sensor. It can be found across the West in great numbers. So I'm just gonna write in a little S there. There we go. Mass produced by Gherkin Company's assembly plant on Oswald Key. I don't understand what this does, so I'm not gonna use it. Steam engine. Constructed over 60 years ago during the Mountain War by the now long dissolved Oak Bark Nation. It's old, rusty, but impressively robust and durable. Uh, what does it do? Does it increase my, my steam level, maybe? Oak Bark Cannon. Constructed over 80 years ago, ba 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 ba. Cans are typical of short, shorter length and tended to use poor quality metals. This has managed to last through many decades of hard use. So. When firing, there's a chance of explosion. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, additional damage when armor-piercing rolls is especially high. I This is all too much detail for me. I feel like I've, I've been dropped into a role-playing system that I'm not familiar <laughs> with. Uh, chance target ship systems will lose steam power for a remainder of turn. Hmm. That sounds useful. Let's give it a try. Not enough. Not enough steam? How much does it take? 20. Okay. How about if I use... These two. Can I do that? Engage. I want to see what happens with the steam engine. Does it give me extra steam for the next turn? Cannon malfunctioned. Their cannon malfunctioned, I hope. I hope it was theirs and not mine. Um, so if I... The whiskey long gun is dealt... Six damage, right? Cannon has malfunctioned. I wasn't using the cannon. Was it their cannon? I don't think I had the cannon turned on. Let's... Steam engine. There we go. Okay, I think it does give me extra. The enemy cannon has dealt 20 damage. On like that. Let's shoot them with our cannon. I'm gonna shoot you with my cannon, other ship. Teach you a lesson or two. Piercing shot punches through armor. Huzzah! Now we'll switch back to this one. I can do it at the higher rank. Does that mean I'll do more damage? Let's find out! Oh no, malfunctioned! Oh, what a waste. Let's get let's get some more of that steam. Should we try this? How much does this take again? Nine. I need more steam. I still don't fully understand what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna try this cannon again. I wanna shoot them with a cannon. Kaboom! Kaplow! Only three damage! Damage greatly reduced by armor. Shucks. Should I find out what this does? I think I should. Gherkin wave can. What do you do? Perform a sensor sweep, added two accuracy bonus. I see. All right, we've got two ranks of whiskey long gun. I can afford three ranks. Let's see what happens when I do that. And, and, 16 damage, and they missed me. 
Haha, -ha, sucker! Yeah, that's right. Uh, no, I want to give this a break, I guess. I don't know how many times in a row I can use it before I start having troubles. Let's get let's get some more let's get some more of this steam power. Let's do this again. I like that. Kaboom! 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 Kaplow! Twenty-six damage. Nice. Oh, you're getting low. You're getting low on 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 points. That's right. Doing it again. <laughs> Don't fail me now. Whiskey long gun. Deflected? Oh no! Oh, that was bad that just happened there. That was... I didn't like that. Oh, man. Um... My engine temperature is going up, though. Engine boiler is getting hot. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, it's gonna work this time. Ready? Ready? They're going down. Here we go. See? See? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. 28 damage. Um... They only got three points left. Let's blow him out of the sky with the whiskey long gun. This is gonna work. Deflected! Oh no! Well, at least they didn't shoot it back at me. Let's use the oak bark. Oh no, I can't. I only need to do three damage. No! Stop doing that! Gosh. How about this way? What if I do this? Yay! <laughs> I shot him out of the sky! Did you see, my friends? That ship is no longer flying because of me and because of the actions I took. Hooray! No items could be salvaged. That's a shame. Well, I got some money. I got 110 currency. I'm gonna take all of that currency. Whee! <laughs> I feel powerful. Enter town! 121 HP of ship damage has been repaired. Oh, cool. So you just automatically get repairs when you go in? Enter that town. Timberhorn Lake. Oh, this is much easier to read. Timberhorn Lake was established as a small hunting settlement way back around the turn of the century, roughly 90 years ago. It has since grown into a respectable city. Renowned, renowned for its folksy char, many wealthy travelers come here from across the West to experience life in the frozen frontier, but to do so with the amenities and comforts of civilization. Uh-huh. The Timberhorn Saloon is well loved for its fine dining and luxurious accommodations. There's plenty of shopping to be had here, if you have the coin, that is. Well, I got some coins, right? I have to meet a person, and I have to sell them. There's no click and drag here. Okay, who was it that I needed to... Jobs. Deliver a gross of bell buckets to businessmen Sully Phelps and Timberhorn Lake. Sully Phelps, Sully Phelps. Sully B. Phelps, that's probably the one. Hello! Howdy there. Very deep voice. <clears throat> Howdy there. <laughs> Don't have a very deep voice. Welcome to Sully's. I'm Sully T. Phelps and this here's my store. Howdy. I got a shipment for you. A bit. Bit? I think it should be big old crate full of, uh, bell buckles. I'm not gonna try to do his voice anymore. Oh, wonderful. They're finally here. 144 of them, correct? I suppose as such. Rockwell's crew bring in the crate. Crack open the lid. Takes one out, brushes off some of the packing hay and examines it. Oh, this is dramatic. Very good, fine as a fiddle. Hooray! Well, good sir, here's your payment. Half a bit each, I believe, was the rate I discussed with Mr. Joe Hansen. Mr.? Wasn't it a Miss Joe Hansen? Uh, thank you kindly. I am going to be nice, new friend. You and I are friends now. Okay, 72 bits. You have yourself a fine day, Mr. Rockwell. Jebediah Rockwell. Oh, so I'm Jebediah Rockwell from the intro. I thought that Jebediah Rockwell was leaving. While you're here, you care to look at my store? Uh, sure. What can we buy? Very swell. Oh, goodness. Not just swell, but very swell. And if you got extra coal, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Here in the city, coal is always in demand. Especially what with the frigid weather we've been having of late. Nod. Okay, what do we got here? I've got... There's a line across all the numbers, by the way. And again, it all looks very cool, but there comes a point where you have to prioritize readability. And I think that the line across the numbers could probably be done away with without losing anything of the overall, uh, the overall aesthetic. So we got snakeskin boots. Okay. Thing I can't afford. Whiskey Co. T10 over under cannon. New cannon for the ship. Uh, and that's all I could afford. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it for now. I think I did just fine. Uh, let's go talk to Lisa Lee. Let's go see who Lisa Lee is. Hello, Lisa Lee. You're Rockwell. 
Yeah, that's right. And you, you're Lisa Lee. The infamous Lisa Lee. Oh, goodness. You're a bounty hunter, ain't ya? Sip of whiskey? You looking for trouble? I ain't no bounty hunter, just a captain of a cargo ship. I dabble in bounty hunting from time to time. Ooh. I don't know. Am I a bounty hunter? I've never thought about it, really. I mean, you gotta take a look at your life and you gotta decide who you are as a person. Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Will you dabble in now? Uh, I'm not here to bring you in. Oh, is there a bounty hunter? If you change their mind. If you change... Her mind? Whose mind? Whose mind am I changing? This conversation has taken a very exciting turn. There's about a dozen of my boys within earshot. Here, tell you're a deadly man with a six-shooter. Drinks more whiskey. Liable you could take out a handful of them, but I reckon you'd meet your maker before you got through all dozen. Duly noted, ma'am. I don't want to take you in. We're all friends here. Well then, how can I be of service to the great Captain Rockwell? What's the story about Mason Blackwell? I'm not going to remember it. I, don't, I already forget what everybody's names are. Mason, he's a crook, just like me. Ha! Sips whiskey. He operates quite the criminal enterprise. Drinks more whiskey. <laughs> Slow down with the whiskey. You gotta, you gotta savor her whiskey. If it's a good whiskey. If it's a bad whiskey, then you shouldn't be sipping it. You should just do a shot and, and, and get it over with. If you don't mind. Oh, there's so much story here that I don't comprehend yet. Now, the guild tends to look the other way. Blackwell's a talented man when it comes to greasing the proper palms. More whiskey! Must be off. I don't want to be responsible for you when you pass out. All right, what do we got? Mason T. Black, well, that's what we were just talking about. Here's a sheriff here. Guild soldier. <laughs> With a pair of shades. Goodness, that's a more modern outfit than I was expecting. Welcome, citizen. All right. This is, is this the token NPC that will just say the same thing no matter how many times I talk to them? Sheriff something B. Smith? Maybe? Tiberius B. Smith. Howdy there, Rockwell. Been a spell? How's the family? Swell, just swell. And that's Sheriff Smith. Well, I didn't I didn't say anything about your name. Howdy Sheriff Smith. <laughs> How's the law been faring in these parts? Could be better, Rockwell could be better, though this week's been pretty good. A few days back we caught Dan the Rat Durfee. Dan the Rat, ain't that the fella killed all them lawmen down south? Killed his share of lawmen here in Guild Country as well. A real bad egg if ever there was one. Well, how'd you get him? That coot was right here in town. We caught him drinking whiskey. <laughs> I'm noticing a pattern. I am noticing a pattern. Maybe less whiskey if you're wanted for crimes. Uh, some folks recognized him, told one of my deputies a moment later. I was... There I was with my whole posse. A coot indeed, friend. Indeed. What'll become of him? Are you gonna hang him? Oh my goodness. Boy, howdy, I'd sure I'd sure like to, Rockwell, but this has gone a fair bit over my head. At first, the guard council was fixing to hang him in Grizzly Tooth right in front of the Capitol building. That poor soul. I know I'm being sarcastic, but it's the nicest thing I can say. You have another core heard we have, and the core ambassador wants to. What's the core? Oh my goodness! Gonna hand him over? I don't know who the core is. Sadly, it seems that way. At least justice will be served. I am determined to be as nice as possible. When's he shipping out? Guard Council is fixing to keep this on the down low. A lot of folks would take objections to them giving Dan up to the core, so it's being pretty secretive. Hmm. Gonna do the transfer way out in Cloudberry Creek just outside of town. Kind of the wrong direction. It is at that, but I suppose it's far enough out in the middle of nowhere, not many peepers to mind. So much intrigue already! We're only, like, 20 minutes into this game! The ambassador's gonna personally fly out there to pick him up. Ambassador? Well, look at you, share your fancy pants. la di da best comb that mustache of yours. Looks like he's he's got quite a well-groomed mustache, as a matter of fact. Oh, what's the problem with your airship? She's been with the sheriff's office for nearly 50 years. Aw, every month the switch is breaking down, giving us trouble. She wouldn't want her going kaput in the middle of the mountains, especially with Dan the Rat Durfee in the hold. Um, I'm gonna send my mechanic. I'm not gonna volunteer my ship. I wanna help, but at this point that old girl's just a block of rust. Okay, well, hope you hope you manage. I'm not getting involved. Oh, for goodness sake. You'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks for your confidence. Good luck, bye! <laughs> I'm not helping you. Alright, one more person here. We got Mason T. Blackwell. 
Hello and welcome, good sir. And what brings you to our fine establishment on this beautiful day? Uh, any work? Oh, indeed, indeed, there surely must be. Always plenty of work for an airship captain in a big town such as this. Ask around town, good sir. I'm certain you'll find many. You could make use of your service. Many who could make use of your service? I'm sure is what you mean. Okay. Uh, you own this here, please? I'm nosy. Ah, uh, yes, indeed I do, good sir. I purchased this here fine establishment round about three years back. It's proven to be a very fine investment if I don't say so myself. What kind of business do you do? Just curious. I mean, besides overseeing this here beautiful saloon? Mm-hmm. Oh, all sorts. I dabble in all sorts of business. I strive to diversify as much as possible. All legitimate interests, of course. I'm sure. Unfortunately, at present, I don't have the need of fine services of an airship captain such as yourself. I operate my own private lines transportation. It's much more discreet that way. Mm, mm hmm I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down here, Mason T. Blackwell. However, I just might have a job for you in the near future. Come back to the saloon in a little spell. We can discuss an opportunity I believe you'll find very intriguing. Well, perhaps I will. Well, next, till next time, I shall bid you adieu. Please do come and visit again, good sir. All right, that's all the people. I suppose I should take that sheriff's job, but um, actually, my friends, it, it's it's gone by very quickly. But we're pretty much out of time for this episode. Oh, look at the look at all the ships flying by in the background. I didn't even notice that. This is so pretty. This game just looks so good. It just looks so good. Um, that alone makes it worth looking at, I think. So again, this is in early access, coming on early access today. Um, if you're not a fan of early access, you can still follow the game and wait for it to be full released. But it, I mean, clearly a lot of work has gone into this. Cause this is this is just so cool. Um, yeah, that is Age of Grit. Age of Grit, I believe, if I'm remembering the name properly. I think. It's not gonna remind me. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. I, I should have written it down before I pressed record. Um, in any case, um, I, I will definitely take a, a further look at this because this looks like a lot of fun and I'm curious to see how it develops. Uh, if you are interested in getting this game, you can check it out on Steam. I'll put a link in the description like I always do. And if, my friends, if, just if, this is not really your cup of tea, do not worry, my friends, because I will be back very soon with another new indie game. And you never know. That one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.